I hope your glass walls don't turn into mirrors. I don't think your eyes can take the sight of your truth being naked, your colors being true, or the fallacy of the metal sheet you threw on yourself as a decoration. For your information, gold knows no rust, it knows no rot. I hope your glass walls don't turn into mirrors for even worse. You might actually like what you see. You get that urge to approach, the urge to explore, the urge to find more. Intuit, mystified, in lust, in lust, in love, in love, in what you mistake for love. I see you. Experienced I am, raising your object of admiration onto a pedestal, circling around it, scrutinizing its every side, revering, worshipping. I feel you, that sense of heat starts perfusing your being, you're not burning, you're boiling, you're boiling in lust, you're boiling in lust. You're boiling in love, you're boiling in love, you're boiling in envy. Oh, struck, you bow, you bend, drop on your knees, forehead touching the ground, one hand caressing your holy idol, the other sewing the base of his throne, silently, slowly, hedonically, as if your most intense climax depends on the magnitude of that fall. And at last, when it's found perplexed and face down on the floor, then you unfold, stand stretched beside it, solemnly asking, who stands tall now, huh? Who stands tall? I see you, I know you, restless, envious, insecure, turning your love object into a road to stage your parade. Shoes dirty, feet stomping, pounds resonating from every corner of your boxed walls, the clamor convenient, racketing distraction, the perfect soundtrack for forgetting, for distorting the facts, for weaving the plot to convince everyone, plus yourself, why not, that you had been a victim. And how unfair it is that what you're forced to believe it was perfect, was nothing but flawed, it was fake, it was weak, and look, now it's broken. You fool. Can you see that the only thing broken is the single part of yourself you'd have any right to be proud of? Oh, I hope your glass walls don't turn into mirrors. For I was never one for revenge, and had I been, I'd be more than content with the knowledge that, despite its eloquence, your treason was feeble. My intact height can attest to that. But what does make me sad is that of all the possible ways of fornication, you played all your artistry into fucking me. <laughs>